Alright, uh, play for a bit, a bit longer now. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess we're mostly good. Yeah, I think this is, uh, farther than I, uh, ever got before. Ah, uh, because I don't remember this boss, so when I played it before, I must have, uh, not even got this far. Uh, I really should have checked what the super jump does. Uh, and what that does. Oh wait, that's... Status heal or something? Uh, and this, I don't know. I'll give it a try. Does that mean that he's got 448 uh, health? Uh, if so, uh, less than 10 jumps should do it. Okay, so the Scarecrow can't attack or use items, but he can special. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, he should be getting pretty close. Yeah, I'm not sure what it means when it says get a freebie, if uh, that just adds a uh, honey syrup. Yeah, I'm gonna try this once more and just see what the uh, number is now. 19, okay. Yeah, so that's that's gotta be his health. My Thunderbolt and we should do it. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I don't know why that first uh, dinosaur boss was so much uh, more difficult than I don't know, all the other bosses so far.
Yeah, I'm not sure if this is, uh, this really matters or what I should be doing here. I guess you know, coins are, you know, they would be helpful. Uh, it doesn't seem like you really get that many. Okay, that green coin would have been nice, I think. I'm guessing they probably give more or something. Good, it's finally over. It was kind of long. Said I got the knock knock shell. Uh, which uh, I'm guessing that's a mistranslation. I think the in the Japanese one, the Koopas are Noko Noko. start of the river. Uh, no, I don't really care for uh, mini-game things. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, sewers... pond. Okay.
This really has the same kind of humor as the Paper Mario games. was uh, out here. Uh, okay, so that's what the green ones are about. Not too interesting. Uh, I thought the, fro uh, the frog coin spot might be more uh, you know, like special weapons or something. So I just gotta beat each boss, get all the stars, and then beat him. I think that's what most, most of the Paper Mario games are. Oh, is he one of the clouds that the Lakitus ride on, perhaps? I don't know if this is just another uh, mini game thing. I don't know. I'm gonna just head out to the world map. I'll uh, do that if I have to. Okay, good. <laughs> 
I don't seem to have to. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I guess that was okay. I, I don't really get what I was supposed to be. I don't know if I was supposed to go the other direction there. So I guess, I don't know, going on with the, the games that I beat this year. Uh, next is, I guess, uh, got Master System games here, although there was only one. Uh, and that's uh, Golden Axe Warrior. Uh, Zelda 1 is probably one of my favorite games, though I don't play it uh, that often because, like, the you know, the point of it is the exploration and everything, so... You know, if you already know where everything is, it's not as interesting, I think. But, uh, I always like playing those kinds of games. Uh, unfortunately, there don't seem to be... that many, like, games like Zelda 1 around. Okay, uh... Got it. Uh, it was just a frog coin. Uh, I guess that's everything up here. But anyways, uh, yeah, Golden Axe Warrior is uh, it's on the uh, Master System. Uh, I never had a Master System. I did get a Genesis at some point, uh, and just a handful of games for it that I didn't really play. Um, but uh, Golden Axe Warrior, it's basically like a clone of the NES Zelda. Uh, I didn't find it to be as good. Uh, one of the problems with it is that the uh, the world is like several times bigger, uh, which makes it uh, I don't know, kind of uh, unnecessarily difficult. Okay, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, because you never know, like, you know, where you actually explored, or like, you go through part of the game and, you know, you're making your map and stuff, uh, and, you know, writing down where, you know, something, you know, 
blocks that you think you might be able to destroy are or whatever. And then you get some ability and you're like, oh wait, you know, I should have been writing down where all the trees were because now I can burn trees or whatever. Uh, and so then you've got to kind of look through the rest of the world for trees, but because the world is so big, that just takes forever. Uh, okay. Uh, although it is... It is a good game still. I still overall liked it, but uh, I don't think it was as good as uh, Zelda. Uh, and it is fun to, uh, you know, draw a map while you're playing and stuff. Uh, I like games like that, like, you know, that and Zelda and uh, La Mulana. Actually, I did beat uh, Zelda 2 as well uh, this year. Uh, I guess I'll talk to that when I get to the NES games. But yeah, I guess you know, overall Gold Max Warrior is good. If you like Zelda 1, you probably will like it. Okay, I can't get to him. Uh, so he's next on my list is, uh, well, NES games. Uh, so we've got Wizards and Warriors, uh, Batman the Video Game, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, Spelunker, and uh, Zelda 2. Uh, so his first was uh, Wizards and Warriors. Uh, that was a pretty good game. I think I I did a let's or I I mean I played through it after watching a let's play. Uh, I forget whose it was. Uh, or I don't know if it was a full let's play. I think it might have been like uh, I don't know maybe I don't know the Angry Video Game Nerd did it. Uh, or I don't know someone else. But uh, you know, after seeing that, I thought it looked pretty cool, and it was pretty fun. Uh, it is fairly difficult, but it's got like unlimited continues, so you can grind your way through it eventually. Uh, so you don't, you know, even if you're dying a lot, you'll still get through eventually. Uh, the you know the combat's a bit weird. You're always uh, I guess I should say, you know, it's a side-scrolling kind of platformer, but uh, it is a bit more, I don't know, you do one level at a time, but the levels themselves are a bit more kind of open. You've got to, you know, find the keys and stuff in the level. And there is some uh, power-ups that you find that uh, continue with you through the game once you get them. Uh, there is a... Oh, and also, uh, I think famous, uh, famously, it's got uh, Fabio on the cover, all, like, you know, oiled up and shirtless and whatever, even though uh, in the game you're just, like, a knight guy in armor. Check what those abilities do now. Okay, so all right, that's all they are. Next was Batman, uh, the video game. 
this was a pretty good game. Uh, it was. Uh, it's got unlimited continues as well, though when you start off, uh, you know, after dying, you come back with, like, no, uh, items or anything, so, uh, you know, if you die before a boss, then, uh, come back, you, you know, you're fighting the boss with nothing, basically, uh, which, uh, the last boss, the, the Joker, he took me quite a while to beat. Uh, but it's a pretty good game. Uh, you know, again, it's a one, you know NES-style side-scrolling platformer kind of game. Uh, uh, Batman's got different weapons and stuff you can use, uh, uh, and you can punch, and then like wall jump and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a very well-made game. Uh, I really recommend it. Uh, next was Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, when I was looking through my NES games, apparently I did actually have this one as a kid. Uh, I think the previous year I, I did beat Ninja Gaiden 1 for the first time, and so uh, this year I decided uh, might as well do 2. Uh, I never actually beat 2 as a kid. Uh, I don't think I even played it that much because, you know, it's uh, it was a bit too difficult for me as a kid. Uh, but going through it now, uh, again, I think you've, you've got unlimited continues, so you can get through. Uh, even though it does mean usually going through, like, the entire stage over again. Uh, but you don't have to, like, redo the entire game. So it's definitely doable. Uh, I haven't beaten. Th I haven't done three yet, uh, though. From what I remember, three does not actually have unlimited lives, uh, so that'll be a bit difficult. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but uh, one and two were pretty good. Bowser's. Uh, Rallying the troops, I guess. After that was uh, Spelunker. Uh, I think I talked about this when I did the Let's Play, but uh, yeah, I really liked the Spelunker party on the uh, a Switch. That was one of the first games I got when I my when I got my Switch. I actually uh, downloaded the dem the Japanese demo uh, and then imported the game. Uh, Yeah, because I liked it so much after playing the demo. Uh, and then I, you know, I played it a little bit and then didn't play it for a while. And then uh, uh, just this year, I just said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat Spelunker. I'm gonna, you know, go through it again and again, and you know, even if it takes me a while.
kids are like that. Yeah, I, I don't remember this part at all. I don't think I ever got here. I guess people really like uh, Gino from what I gather because they want him like in Smash and everything, uh, not Mallow or any other character. So I guess, uh, I don't know, from here on I'll see what the fuss is about. Squonger was really good. Uh, it only actually ended up taking me, you know, a day or two of trying, uh, a couple of attempts before I managed to beat it, so it's not that hard. Uh, and after that, just recently, a couple weeks ago, I beat uh, Zelda 2. care for it as much as uh, the first Zelda, but uh, I still did really like it. Um, I didn't think it was that terribly difficult. Uh, and the combat was a little hard sometimes. Uh, you know, people always complain about the first two Zeldas, how they're, oh, they're so cryptic and stuff, but really the first one's pretty good about that. You know, only, you know, only the really kind of unnecessary stuff, like the the rupees or the money making game or whatever uh, is really cryptic. Uh, everything else, it's it's in major places where you can find it. Like uh, you know, the, the only tree at a dead end will be the one you have to burn, or the only tree in a room will have uh, you know a part under it or whatever. Or there'll be like a you know, the single big rock in the middle of the room at a dead end or something is what you gotta burn. So it's you know, it's not nearly as uh, cryptic as people say it is. Like, you just gotta pay attention and stuff. It just doesn't like hold your hand. The two I found was pretty similar in that regard. Uh, most of the stuff was pretty well, uh, you know, conveyed. You don't have to, you know, just do random stuff or anything. Here, I guess. 
I think I've got just regular shirt and regular pants, so I guess I should upgrade. Keep these because uh, Gino may be able to uh, equip one of them when we get him soon. I'm assuming we'll get him soon. Uh, so yeah, I did manage to beat. Uh, I beat two mostly blind. The, there was only. I don't know, one thing I had to look up was uh, near the end of the game you have to uh, rescue a, a kid who's been kidnapped by uh, kidnappers. Uh, and you know, somebody says that and they say, oh, they're, you know, kidnappers took my kid to an island or whatever. Uh, but it doesn't really say anything beyond that. Uh, and it doesn't say like where the island is, and the actual island that it's on is just happens to be like a whole screen area that's got like a river surrounding it, so it doesn't really seem like an island. Like there are other islands where you go way out into like the ocean and then there's like one square of land or whatever. So that's kind of what I had assumed it would be, so I spent a long time just like looking out in the water and, you know, looking all around those islands and stuff. Uh, and just not being able to find where the kid was. Uh, and then I ended up, I had to just look and... kid yeah he's on this random uh, and he's not like you know there's not like a patch or something where you can see it's just uh, this one random square on this like maze that's surrounded by rivers is like the kid on the island so that was the only thing I couldn't find uh, at an earlier point in the game uh, you have to talk to this one monster who's sleeping in a town three times and then he wakes up and then you he gives you a hint to go uh, into the forest to the north, uh, which that took me a little while because uh, you talk to him once and he like grumbles, and then you talk to him again and he grumbles, and then you talk to him again and then he wakes up and tells you the hint. And the the spot in the forest where you gotta go is yeah, it's just a random spot in the forest that warps you to another screen. Uh, so I wasn't really looking in there, uh, but I, you know, I ended up, I needed to go in there, and I just ran around and talked to everyone until I talked to him three times. Aside from that, I didn't really have any problem. Uh, even there's the one where you have to cast spell at the wall, and people are always like, "Oh, you, you know, you use this one random spell at this one random spot," but like, it's pretty obvious. Like, it's a big dead end at the end of the town, uh, and it even somebody even says like, "Oh, cast something at the wall or whatever." So like, as soon as I got that, I was like, "Oh, it's." You know, it's the dead end there, that's where I gotta go. Uh, really, you just gotta 
write, you know, make some maps, make notes, uh, write down all of the uh, NPC dialogue and stuff, and kind of check off when when you think a, you know you did a hint or whatever. You, the hint is no longer you know applied anything. And check it off, and, you know, take notes of where you get everything, and then it's not really that difficult. Uh, it's, yeah, it's very similar. If you, I guess if you like those uh, first two Zelda games, you should play uh, La Mulana. Uh, because it's very similar. Uh, either one or two. One, they are a bit more cryptic, I think. 